Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Simone Speaks. This is going to be the daily reading for August 20th. I'm going to be doing daily readings for the remainder of August. So if you want notifications on upcoming readings to come, make sure you tap that bell, okay? Let's give a nice shuffle on camera. I hope you guys have had an amazing August. This has been quite an interesting month. I did say in the weeklies in the beginning of August, if you haven't seen those, that this month was going to be a quite interesting one. We had a huge lunar eclipse. We've had retrogrades in and out. So if your month was kind of crazy, it's not a surprise. All right. It is totally natural during this season. This is a random reading for all signs. So if you're a Scorpio, welcome. If you're a Libra, welcome. And all information on how to contact me is below. I am going to resume private readings very, very soon, guys. If For those that are asking, I have been seeing quite a lot of comments about it. Um, asking me if I'm, if I'm offering. I am offering, but I am going to have to transition into a bigger time slot for you know, all of you guys to assist every single one of you guys in the best way and the highest quality, the highest quality possible. I am very, very busy. So you will get an email from me back. Okay. As soon as I'm ready to get back in the swing of things, guys, besides YouTube, um, privately, I will get back to every single one of you. Thank you so much for the support, the likes, the subscribes, the shares, the hearts, the comments, you guys rock. So this is going to be three cards, okay? Three cards and the bottom of the deck, well, with a bonus, I should say. I'm actually going to toss in two bonuses, okay? Uh, bonus number one is King of Cups. Bonus number two is Four of Swords. So this is kind of like a five-card reading, all right? So I'm just going to go ahead and do a five-card reading. I was going to do three, but Four of Swords and King of Cups wanted to come out, so I will go with it, all right? So... Here, I'm going to show you guys on camera a little bit more. Yeah, there you guys go. So you guys can see it. Okay, so what I see here for August 20th, daily reading for all Zodiac signs. Hmm. Well, I do feel that this is a love reading. Okay, so if you do not want to watch a daily reading on love, please catch me tomorrow or whenever I upload again. But this is definitely, I feel, a daily love reading. Uh, we have Page of Swords. Five of Swords, Ace of Cups, Four of Swords, and we have the King of Cups. So the King of Cups is a water sign card. So you definitely could be dealing with a male water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Or if you are a male watching, you could be dealing with a female water sign. Um, does not have to be uh, specified to either same sex or hetero couples this is for all of you so if you are a gale if you are a gale if you are a gay male watching for another water sign or you are not a water sign doesn't really matter um there is a water sign that could be possibly involved here okay so the water sign energy is definitely here so if you're dealing with a water sign this reading is definitely for you now, the Page of Swords is a very interesting card, guys, because the Page of Swords does have a very strong energy to it. Um, it's not the Page of Cups. It's not even the Knight of Wands. All right. The Page of Swords is a pretty straightforward card. And I feel that with the King of Wands, sorry, the King of, the King of Cups and the Page of Swords, that this does hold the energy here of somebody who has lots of energy um, possibly could be younger or your age. Um, so if you're like in your 20s, 30s, 40s, maybe even 50s, um, this person could be, I feel, either your age or younger than you. And <clears throat> I do feel here for some reason that there is some communication that you're going to get. It could be this person will communicate with you or you will communicate with them. But either way, there definitely is going to be com some, com some kind of communication here. Now, the only concern that I feel, well, more than one concern that I feel for this reading so far is that you have a lot of sword cards. And sword cards represent the air element, which is Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. So you definitely could have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in your chart, or they could have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in their chart. But all in all, 
I feel here that there's a battle going on. I feel that somebody wants to walk away. OK, this could happen later on today. This could have happened even I feel yesterday night going into today. Like there is some strong air energy here of an air sign who wants to walk away or pull the plug. Um, I'm just going to pull a clarifier real quick. OK, but this is definitely a love daily. <clears throat> going to pull on camera here. So please show me a clarifying card for the five of swords and the four of swords combined because the four so there's there's definitely progression here though i mean yeah so if somebody wants to leave whether it's you or this other person in this kind of like love battle i see going on you must know that there is progress i mean right now okay look at the blue so there's so much blue here so even though right now Things look really choppy. Um, maybe I feel if you're an air sign I'm reading for, an earth sign I'm reading for, you could be disappointed with the progress so far, especially if you're like a Capricorn female I see here or a Libra sun or moon or Venus female I'm reading for. I feel like you are really, or Virgo sun, by the way. I feel like you are very unhappy with the progress so far in this relationship. Um, this is not somebody new. OK, like I don't care what anybody says, um, you know, because because people people love to say different stupid things, you know, on the underneath the comments like, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. OK, then this video is not for you. All right. But <laughs> for those that this video is resonating for, what I feel so far deeply is that this is either somebody you're currently with or this is an ex. I feel for a lot of you, this is somebody from your past, okay? This is somebody from your past who you guys have restarted back up some kind of communication. I'm not saying you guys are together, but there is some kind of communication that has transpired. Like, for sure, okay? And um, somebody wants to tap out, okay? Four of Swords, upright. Somebody wants to tap out. I feel that this for the females, um, if you're a male watching this daily reading i feel that if you are um watching this video for a female i feel that the female that you're currently with could want to leave you or has expressed to you already that they don't want to be with you um in the way they want to be with you so it could be that maybe you're a male that i'm reading for and you want commitment like you want to be with this person but this female does not want to be with you um i'm really picking up here on strong uh male scorpio energy strong air sign female or fire sign email 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 sign i mean whatever guys okay that was weird so that could be through email for some of you guys like maybe you've you've you guys are talking through email or text something like that that just spirit just totally took over there so i do feel for the males watching that if you are with a fire or water sign female um or fire water sun female that has air in her chart like heavy air in her chart which is libra gemini aquarius i feel that she's already expressed to you or will express to you that she may not want to continue in the way that you guys have been continuing before um there is three swords above this guy's head regardless of gender because this could be the reverse you know it could be females that are going through this right now but i feel that either way there's somebody that does not want to be in this relationship anymore or it could be that somebody doesn't want to be in the relationship in that way. So maybe somebody wants all the benefits of a relationship, but doesn't want to commit. And I feel that for a lot of females watching, you don't want to commit to somebody, but there, there's still some kind of like a hold up. Um, I don't know why. OK, uh, so I'm just going to go ahead. Yeah, and you see, bottom of the deck is two of wands. So I do feel that somebody's going to make a decision soon, or especially if you're the guy watching who wants commitment, but your girl doesn't want commitment, or the person you're seeing doesn't want commitment from you. I feel that you have to make a decision very, very soon, okay? Because um, I'm just going to say it. I feel from the energy of the cards here that if you don't like put your foot down, this person could take advantage of you. I really feel that for for for, for real, that if there is not um, clear communication about, you know, where you guys are heading in the relationship. I mean, you see how the person here has two paths. So it's either commitment or not commitment. I mean, it's not really difficult, but there's somebody here. I feel 
um, there's somebody here who wants to go off the beaten path here and wants all the benefits of a relationship, but doesn't want to be committed. So there's something wrong there. Okay. So if this person, um, you know, if this person or you cannot like be honest about what's going to happen here or where, what direction you guys are going into, I could tell you right now that these two people involved in this uh, situation are going to be left very, very frustrated okay i feel that whoever is a person who wants commitment commitment but not getting it is the one who's going to be in pain the most because somebody else is still doing their thing but you're over here waiting for commitment okay so there's an energy over here of somebody who's tired wants commitment and then there's an energy over here of somebody who has lots of cups or wants to have lots of cups and does not want to commit so i'm going to go ahead and collect these cards and pull three last cards, okay? So that is a storyline. The storyline so far, guys, is that somebody wants commitment, but the other person could be leaving, like like trying to like sneak out the door, or has already, I feel, expressed to somebody else that, you know, I don't really want to, you know, go in that direction. And somebody else is upset. Somebody else feels like betrayed here, I feel, or will feel betrayed eventually if this person does not come around. So my word of advice here is that if you're the female or male that I'm reading for and you actually do want commitment, I think it's time to buck up and, and be honest with the person, okay? Because there is somebody here. Yeah, I do see somebody here offering a cup. Um, there's somebody here who wants commitment, but the other person's just not not giving it to them. So it's very, very um, hard for the other person to accept that you don't want commitment or they don't want commitment. So whoever it is, it's hard to accept. It's hard to accept this. Uh, let's go ahead and pull three more. So universe, for this daily love reading for August 20th, please show us um, more cards as to what's... Okay, so the Six of Cups, which is the card of the past, just passed my eye. So this is definitely an X. This is definitely somebody from the past. The Sun card passed my eye. The King of Cups passed my eye. The Knight of, yeah, Knight of Cups. So be careful, guys. There definitely could be somebody um, I see here who, who, yeah, for sure, who, who wants something temporary. It's not legit, okay? Be careful, guys. Judgment. So, okay, so here's the bottom line. There is victory for both parties, I feel, eventually. But the only problem here is that somebody may realize that somebody's trying to play a game on them and leave. So both of you guys could end up leaving if this doesn't get fixed. All right. The sun card is here. OK, there's 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 memory shared. There's there's good vibes here between you two, but it's not getting off the ground. And if it has gone off the ground, it's it's stopped again. So stop, start, stop, start. This sounds exactly like my um, mid-August Libra reading. I feel that I'm reading for a Libra here or an Aries or a Scorpio. You have to have Scorpio in your chart, I feel, for real. Like a lot of you guys have Scorpio in your chart, Libra in your chart, Aries, Capricorn, Virgo. That's what I'm picking up so far is Aries, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, and Libra. That's all I'm picking up on mainly, okay? So if you're like a Sagittarius sun, you could have Libra in your chart. So Knight of Wands. So you have two Knight cards. We have two Knight cards here. So I do see that this is going to be... Um, I feel that if somebody doesn't commit here, this is temporary. This is a temporary thing. Yeah, you see? Okay. So the bottom line... Yeah, absolutely. absolutely, freaking lutely Look at this. The Hangman Upright. Let me show you on camera again. The Hangman Upright. Judgment card. Major Arcana Upright. Knight of Wands upright. So the dealio is that there's somebody here who I feel straight up does not want to commit. Okay. So the hangman. Um, somebody I feel here has gotten victory from something. Could have been a text message, could have been a date, could have been going to the movies together could have even been you know you meeting their siblings or something but i feel that that i feel that that is very very um short term it's not like legit um i'm even seeing somebody here i don't know who this is but i actually am seeing somebody here who like went over to somebody's house with like family or friends not like by themselves like i feel that somebody could have even um, ask somebody else to come over to their house and like meet somebody 
doesn't have to be your family could have been that they asked you to meet their family and you actually went over their house male or female doesn't matter and that was like all a facade it they don't they don't they don't want to actually build this relationship it's total garbage so if this is feeling like I'm talking to you directly, you can shoot me an email. And as soon as I am, um, you know, resuming private readings, I will, you know, put you at the top of the list because I'm going to go through every single email and email every single person back. But I feel that there is somebody here. There's, there's a situation here that's very, very manipulative, very, very fake. And, um, you know, I'm Libra Moon. I was born on the 23rd, so I'm like Libra Cusp. Um, and I don't know what... I don't want to sound like kind of like rude, but I, I have heard, I have heard amongst the astrology and tarot community and intuitive and spiritual community that air signs really, really do tend to, um, like options. Okay. So I'm just putting this, I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm just putting this out here. So I do feel that if you are with a Libra or any other air, air sign, um, in any placement, they could be pulling a wool over your eyes. And you need to be careful, okay? So I do see that victory was shared either between two people or somebody, somebody, it could have been a Leo as well, could have been a Leo son I see here, could have gotten a victory, victory in some way. And I feel that a house is involved. I feel that a trip is involved. I feel that a, some kind of like weird date is involved or like a double date is involved. And there was some success. There was some progress, but it stopped again. You see how all the cards, um, pentacles, sword, sun, wand, wand, cup. So cups and emotion, like there was something shared here and then it stopped again. The hangman. So this is what I see going down for a lot of you is, is that it's stop, start, stop, start. So once again, um, probably watch the Libra mid-August because this sounds exactly like what's going on here. So there was victory. There was something shared between two people. But I feel here that somebody has, um, somebody's not ready to commit, okay? And so somebody is going to stop again, is going to stop the relationship. And I see the other person here is going to, is going to call judgment, is going to say, wow, you know, is this person playing me? Does this person even like me? So one person's going to judge. One person's going to play. Whoever you are, you know who you are. But one person's playing games and the other person is serious. And in the end, it's light. It's a light kind of relationship. It's not solid just yet. But I do see victory could come in in the middle because the victory card is in the middle. That's a good sign. But so far, somebody's playing games. So this is a daily message and love reading, random love reading for August 20th. I hope this video has helped you all. If you would like to get in contact with me, my email is below. I will see you on the next daily reading, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.